Hey miners, welcome back. This is your host, Coinology. If you have a moment, please like, comment, and subscribe. That is a great way to support my channel. Um, today we're going to be talking about a new miner that I just purchased. Can you guess what it is? It's going to be the Ant Miner L5. Um, and I know that this has been a little bit of a hot topic in the past, whether it existed. Um, turns out it did exist. And there is some information out there on this machine, um, not too much, um, but as you can see here, Coastal Crypto, they did a really great video about a year ago. Um, they did actually get a couple of these machines, so they tested them out, they did sell them. Um, and what they explained is essentially, there's a company who um, had these made by Bitmain, and then eventually over time, obviously they weren't as efficient as maybe like an L7 or some of the Hammer uh, D-series miners. So they went ahead and sold these on the open market. Um, so there have been a couple different companies selling these. And from what I've gained, um, this is a 120 or 240 volt miner um, with a hash rate of 1.47 at 1,425 watts. Um, with that being said, that puts this miner basically on par with the Anasilicon A6 Plus, the LTC Master, um, which you can see today is doing about negative uh, 29 cents after power um, at a 12 cent kilowatt rate, which is about where I'm at, and a 1% pool fee. Now, the reason why I'm interested in this miner is because I am a small size miner. Um, I have two locations. I have a condo that I mine in, so I'm a small scale miner. And then I have a family's property that I'm able to host some of my uh, ASICs at. And so with that, I am not going to go out and buy a Antminer L7 for thousands of dollars. To me, I could just go out and buy a new car. Um, and so it's just crazy for me to go out and spend that kind of money um, it might not be a lot of money for you, but it is a lot of money for me, just a, you know, regular home miner growing. Um, and I've been in the game for, you know, two, two cycles now. So that's saying something. So if you're somebody that wants to move out of your ant miner L3s, you want to move out of those, uh, you know, those gold shell mini box miners, um, this might be a really great option for you. And now that we know that it's real, um, obviously a little bit ago, Coastal Crypto uh, doing a review, um, I was able to do, dig up a little information I found from one seller. Um, they said that there is a ultra low mode uh, on this machine and the Antminer L5 does about 1300 mega hash at only about 1100 watts. And with that, you're setting yourself apart from a lot of the pack. Um, you're you're going to have better efficiency than the InnoSilicon A6 Plus. You're going to be putting yourself more on par with the Hammer series, which, as you know, cost about twenty one hundred to three thousand dollars right now. Um, so I think that for the price, um, this is a really great miner and one not a lot of people have touched on. Um, so let's go ahead and talk about the price and where I purchased mine. Um, so I saw this listing and many listings on AliExpress for quite a while, and I finally pulled the trigger. Um, I'm not going to go ahead and say which company that I actually purchased from, because if you have any issues, I don't want any pushback towards me um, and my channel. Um, I am not recommending this miner. I am just merely... Uh, doing this for entertainment purposes only. I went ahead and purchased one myself. Um, so this company here, they have them. They're listing the same specs. Um, there are a few companies like this one that have solid reviews. Um, so I don't think that they're going to pull any scams or anything like that. And AliExpress does have um, some parameters that protect you as a buyer, um, which I've had to engage with in the past and has worked out. So um, you know, I feel fairly confident in my purchase. Um, I did purchase one um, for about this price and with the PSU tax shipping everything, um, I was a little over 
uh, $650. Um, so very excited to receive this machine. It looks like towards the middle of March is when I should go ahead and receive this machine. Should it be real? Um, and should the seller actually be authentic? Um, at that time, I'm going to go ahead and give out, um, you know, a couple reviews and just kind of explain my experience with this miner. There's a lot of questions behind this miner. Um, there's a lot of questions for me just because there are four different modes um, that are on this machine. There is a normal mode, there's a high mode, there's a low mode, and then there's an ultra low power mode. Um, so I'm really, really excited to see how hard we can push this machine and uh, what kind of efficiency numbers that we can get, you know, whether or not it's on par with say like a uh, you know, the mini doge threes or the mini doge twos. Um, I expect it to be somewhere in between those two machines just with a lot more hash rate. Um, so very exciting. I'm excited to get the machine. Let me know what you think. Do you have an Antminer L5? I would love to know uh, what you have to say about the ultra low power mode that has been exhibited to me. Um, but yeah, drop your information down below, drop your feedback down below, drop your thoughts down below. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I will go ahead and see you on the next one.